What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys just some of the things that are on my wish list for Destiny 2. In the background you're going to see some gameplay, I just derping around with some pretty silly loadouts uh, yesterday just for fun. Hopefully you enjoy that gameplay. Uh, again, I'm still sick, so Barry White Voice is back, hope that's okay. Moving on, Destiny 2 wish list. Obviously, I, there's a lot of stuff here on my wish list, so I'm going to try and get through it quickly. But uh, obviously I want a compelling story with memorable moments and experiences and memorable characters uh, and good character development early in the story, uh, not like in year two of Destiny 2. Uh, I actually would love to see a little bit more of a return to the sort of grindy approach to uh, specific loot like we had in year one. I kind of liked that. I think that it added additional value to some of the weapons and armor that you could get when they didn't drop quite so regularly. I mean, they weren't guaranteed. And that's very, um, I mean, that's very common among uh, RPGs and uh, especially like loot based games like certain bosses and stuff have chances of dropping specific loot but it's not it's like never guaranteed so it's just a roll of the dice I kinda liked that um, you know and I was a casual player in year one I didn't have all that time I mean I, I worked full-time I had a you know, wife and a kid and, um, and I still I mean I still loved that approach it just meant that when I did get some of those things to drop from the Vault of Glass or whatever, they felt that much more valuable. And especially exotics, too. Uh, I love having spots, you know, specific activities and places where they drop more regularly. Uh, but I don't, I, I mean, I don't like Xur. Uh, I don't really care for the Xur system. I mean, it's not my hill to die on. I'm not super upset about him. But at the same time, I just prefer if he wasn't there. Uh, you know, I like. I like that feeling in year one when I would get an exotic to drop and I was like, oh my gosh, it's yellow. And uh, you know, then that sort of uh, ex experimental stage where you're trying to get to know the weapon or the armor and kind of understand it better. I really liked that. That's a good feeling for a game in my opinion. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting back to that. But also, sort of going along with that, I wouldn't mind having uh, an in-game marketplace in-game marketplace for trading and uh, you know exchanging items because you know you think if I'm predominantly a PvE player and I've got all the raid stuff to finally drop but I very rarely go over into trials because I'm maybe I'm not so good at PvP but I'd really like to have some of that trials gear it's just so cool well um, you know there could be a trials player out there who is willing to put their uh, their things that they've acquired up in the marketplace for a certain price and uh, you could have the currency to buy those things instead of having to farm and farm and farm and to get them in a place that isn't enjoyable for you. Now I'd love to see an in-game marketplace for trading and uh, using currency. Um, I would also like a clean slate. I don't want anything to be tethered to uh, the systems that we had in Destiny 1. I am totally cool with treating Destiny 1 like a a giant beta for Destiny 2, taking what we learned for it and improvising and uh, starting with a clean slate in the future. Maybe, like, I, I don't care if it's a complete wipe. Some people are like, no, I really need to keep my shaders and stuff like that, the cosmetic stuff. I mean, I understand that. Personally, I don't care. Clean slate's totally fine with me. I'd love to see some ranked playlists. Uh, I think that that's going to satisfy an itch that a lot of people have. It adds a really nice competitive nature to Destiny without the community having to create a competitive environment. Instead, have ranked playlists, and uh, it's not a bad thing to have people who are like, Oh, yeah, yeah I, uh, I grinded it out, and I got my rank higher than you, and they're like, Oh, now I need to go in there, and I need to rank up past 40, or you know, whatever the system is, uh, just for bragging rights, or whatever it may be. I think it's good to have a healthy competitive nature in the game, and... Uh, Ranked playlists are a great place for people who really want to try hard. You know, it's a good place for them to go. Generally, the people who are going to be the biggest tryhards are going to want to have something to show for it. They want that number next to their name. This will kind of help weed them out and keep the social playlist maybe a little bit more light and uh, and fun. Moving on, uh, in year th this, you know, sort of the year two of Destiny One, they started to do a little bit more of the uh, activity-specific cosmetic items. 
that's great. Start with that, lead with that in Destiny 2. I'd like to have tons of cosmetics that are only available if you achieve certain tasks. Um, you know, I think that that's great when you have shaders and stuff like that that are very unique to specific activities. So it just kind of lets people know uh, where you've been and what you've done. I think that's great. Uh, I'd love to have powerful special weapons. Uh, you know, in, in early year one, the, the special weapons, they felt, they felt powerful. They really did. Uh, and I like that. And I know they were overused, and I think that there's things that you can do about that other than just nerfing them. Obviously, one of the approaches has been making them less um, available in terms of your special ammo. And I think that's a decent approach, too. But I think also you just need to counter it with having reliable primary weapons as well. Powerful sp special weapons, reliable primary weapons, and a, a good variety of weapon archetypes. And maybe some fresh ones in Destiny 2. That would be great. I would like the first wave of armor and guns in Destiny 2 to be bigger than the first wave of armor and guns in Destiny 1. I remember just kind of thinking, is this it? And then um, all this other loot was just coming with the DLCs. I would like to see a bigger initial pool of, uh, of loot. More stuff to do right off the get-go. More choices to make off the get-go. Where do I want to go? What do I want to get? Also, I'd love to see more frequent patches. I think that's a big thing. Love to see some more frequent uh, updates to the game. Even just small ones, instead of just doing them in big waves, just making small tunings uh, little by little as we go, I think that's a good approach. I'd like to see a more interactive social space. Uh, the, the tower, the reef, um, you know, Felwinter Peak, there's just not much to do there other than just get your stuff and go. I'd love to see more um, ways of interacting with other players, maybe mini games, more uses for currency, uh, so we can use our glimmer on more stuff, like Maybe you can have a sparrow track you can just tool around on uh, with ramps and stuff. A shooting range, maybe. Just lots of different ways you can spend your currency and interact with other players in the social space. And, uh, yeah, so there, there are actually more things that are on my wish list, but I don't want to talk your ear off for 15 minutes. But what are some of the things that are on your wish list? What would you like to see in Destiny 2? And uh, I know you're going to say dedicated servers, right? Yeah, I understand. But yeah, what's on your wish list? Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you in the Crucible.